I'm not sure if it's a good idea for me to react to this series and hear me out, okay? I know that Data Live has a cult following. It's a super popular show that's been going on for a long time. And I know nothing about the series personally, but even I can tell that this shit looks like the most generic, harem, etchy fan service known to mankind. Might as well be softcore hentai. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you wanted to enjoy that in privacy, perfect. You do you. I would do the same. But here's the difference between me and you. I have to make a video and upload this shit to YouTube. This shit's gonna be recorded forever online. And if I go to a job interview and they see me reacting to a bunch of middle school tits and ass hanging out, it's not gonna be a good look for me, guys. But you guys did come out to the polls and voted. I didn't realize how many of you actually wanted to watch. So I gotta deliver on my promise and no snitching, okay? Let's begin today's reaction. 30 years ago, China-Mongolia border, okay? Wait, is that a meteor? Oh, uh... Huh? So this Harem Echi fan service show starts off with world destruction? Is this a post-apocalyptic world? Okay, okay, you have my interest now, okay? Hold up. The soundtrack is really good. Alright! Okay, okay, you got my interest for now, okay? 30 years ago. Space quake. Huh. 150 million deaths. Yo, are we starting off a little heavy for this kind of shit? What's, what's going on? Alright, this is more like it. Yep. Alright, we're okay. This, this is what I expect. Jesus Christ. My adorable little sister, what are you doing dancing on my bed this morning? Age 13? 13? Bro! I oh. <laughs> Guys! 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 Guys, she's 13! Alright, let's keep it- let's- let's have an open mind, alright? There's gotta be a reason why people like to show beyond fan service of a 13-year-old girl, right? Please? Please? I will tickle my lip to T-Virus. It's kinda cute, I, I guess, that he's playing along like this. She's taking it pretty seriously. Huh? The animation's getting kinda dark. Uh, they're still joking around. Like, I, I have. I'm just kind of at a loss for words as to what kind of show to expect because they started off with 150 million people dying and then now they're just doing. <laughs> little sister fan service. Age 16. Itsuka Shido. Main character, I guess. She actually took it so seriously. Girl, uh, she's 13. So I guess maybe she can take it seriously. But. Girl, you believe that shit? Well, beyond the panty flashes, you know, the dynamic between the two, it's kind of cute, right? It seems like a really loving brother. Oh god, there's our first Onichan. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. How important is this plot of the Space Quakes? Like, are we getting a serious plot? Because, like, I don't know how to take the show so far. It's like, so polar opposite of a 150 million people died. And then it's like, ha! My little sister, your panties are everywhere. Hmm. Schedule? What schedule? All right, back to a lowly fan service. Oh, another Onichan. But what does she mean by move up the schedule? It, Danny's. <laughs> it's supposed to be a Danny's, but it's a Danny's. All right, you gotta take our little sis to Danny's after school. All right, it's a promise. Pinky promise. Even terrorist? I... Yo, it's just food, man. What are you... Oh, a little head pat. Yeah. It's just con. It's just con. Yes. <laughs> that glasses girl's actually pretty funny. Even if there's a space quick... So a space quick's gonna happen. Wait. Even if there's a space quick? Bro, what? Who is this guy? Is this our best friend? Uh, about him what? Or is there some yaoi going on? Both ways, uh huh? Oh, come on, dude! <laughs> is there some yaoi go- Who is she? Who's it? Super cheap. <laughs> you think everything is gross! Fated to be together. <laughs> what is this guy? Is he our, like, best friend? Well, I don't know. Oh, he's got a girlfriend. 
Big flex. What does she look like? Isn't that her sister? Dude, that looks like it's modeled after her sister. But, bro, that's a 2D game. It's not a girl. You know what? 2D over 3D. Am I right, fellas? Huh? What's the stalker girl? Hello. Hmm. Are we not friends? Remember what? Huh? Oh, of course, the super genius popular girl sits right beside us. Tobichi Origami. Her name is Origami? You know, there's some weird thing going on here of him not knowing who she is. Little sister saying something about the schedule. Something about the space quake. Space quake. Here we go. Kotori did say even if there was a space quake that we would meet there, right? So I guess this is... Where are you going? Tobichi? Uh, yeah, what, what, what is this? Is this like super space quake forces? Like government? Uh, what? Dio's voice! Okay, the show is getting a little bit more serious all of a sudden. It's it's so jarring because we're just ha 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 innocent high school life and suddenly life threatening danger. Uh, he said even if there was a space quake. No shot. Did she really go to Danny's? Did she really go to Danny's? <laughs> She's at the Danny's! Girl, what are you doing? Bro has to go out. Oh, dude. Like, it's gonna be fine, right? They wouldn't kill the little sister off, like, first episode, right? Like, this isn't that kind of show, right? Oh, God. The only chat. No, we can't let her die? What, why why is this imminent threat happening so soon? Wait, my my emotion is just a roller coaster right now. I can we go back to the fun times? Oh, that's a space quake. It's not gonna get in range, right? Okay, safe, safe. But did Danny's get destroyed? Well, there's a crater and there's a girl, and she. What is this design? Holy, she is extra. Who are you? Huh? It... Why is she there out of... Didn't the space... Space quake happens and this girl shows up? Holy shit, that is the most anime sword magic. Okay. What, 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 what? You gonna kill us? This soundtrack is really sick though. Dude, her design is so extra. <laughs> okay, enough zooming into her tits. Okay, I get it, I get it. You two, what? What, what do you want? Kill me. You know, before the space quick just happened, you know the Dio voice actor? They were saying about some kind of princess something. I would imagine that's like the space quake police or some shit. She's related to the space quake somehow. Like, no, we're just a high school student. What are you doing? Huh? Isn't that Tobichi? Isn't that Tobichi in the middle? Oh shit! Yo, this girl is pretty pow. Like, okay, she can just futility of what? Like, I I don't understand what's going on. But Tobichi is somehow fighting this girl. I, huh? Oh, oh, we're gonna get this kind of action sequence, huh? I mean, I should have known when she swung the sword and it's like the purple beams came out immediately. She looks kind of sad. Oh, go save her, dude! I, uh, with what powers, though? What's he gonna do? Oh, Tobichi, why are you doing this to purple girl? Oh, shit. They're just gonna get a sick action sequence now. Okay, you know what? Despite the shameless fan service, the fact that they can show me this kind of action scenes, it gives me pretty much a lot of hope for this show. And the soundtrack is pretty good too. Oh. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Oh. Wait, but should I root for Tobichi or the purple girl? I'm conflicted. She's the most popular girl at school. But why would she do this? I. Hello. What? Nice outfit. <laughs> Yeah, what are you wearing? <laughs> why does it come? What? Why does it? Why is there a translucent belly button? <laughs> so much ass. 
I'm sure if this is all important for to optimize for battle, right guys? Of course, holy shit. Okay. I am just so confused, but at the same time, kind of hyped that there is, you know, fights like this could happen in this show. Thank God, we're not just getting just shameless fan service all the time. But, why is it called Date Alive? What are we dating? Alive? Live what? Huh? What is this creepy voice? Huh? This voice is kind of creepy, man. Huh? Okay, this is beyond creepy, what? Huh? And we're back. Oh, she's got a cute zombie bear in her pocket. Super bags on their eyes. Murasame Reine. Nurse. Like a zombie nurse? What, what is she? Age, question mark, question mark. How old is she? Wait, more importantly, where's her sister? Is she okay? Yeah, like, what the fuck? Oh, okay, okay. Did she get her deluxe lunch meal? Yes, I'm so confused. This show is not making any sense. It's just so much just shit getting thrown. Dio! It's a Dio voice actor again. I love this voice actor, man. Kanazuki Kyohei. Okay. Wait, uh... Sis, little sis, what are you doing on that? My command center? Little sis, what? Huh? She? In the beginning, she said, we gotta move the schedule. She is the commander of this space quake police center? I don't know, man. Tobichi. <laughs> Look at their ass, dude. Why the out who designed these outfits? <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Brilliant, right? Remember, it's optimized for combat, guys. There's a reason why they're just showing so much tits and ass. What is going on? Wait, 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 wait. Why are you the commander? Did your personality change? Was she ever this looking Why are you getting excited? <laughs> Bro is loving it! Um... Was she always just Sundere? So you always lived a secret life of being a commander and you kept this a secret from us? And, and <laughs> Kyohei's climbing up, dude! <laughs> Look at him! Spirits caused the spe Why are they coming to Earth, though? Why? She didn't really seem evil, though. She, she felt like... She... The AST, Tobichi. Who designed the AST, uh... <laughs> <laughs> the uniform, but why did she? Because she didn't feel very threatening, right? She said, "You're gonna kill me too, right?" Like another method. Oh, main character's help. What can he do? What? What the fuck is he gonna do? Is he gonna start fighting with swords and shit? Uh, little sis, why are you so demanding? Oh wait, where's our little Kotori go? Where? Are you always gonna be like this? <laughs> why are you blushing? That was a moan, bro. Kill it. It's kind of funny hearing Dio's voice actor do this degenerate shit. <laughs> oh, it's her again. The spirit. Where is she? What is going on with these? Why are they attacking Earth or coming to Earth and exploding shit? Why are you so mean, Kotori? Come on! I thought we had something special! Okay. That's. Is that lolly feet service? Is that what they're doing right now? Is she saying lick our feet? Is that what you guys want to do? <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> What's that? That's the game our friend is playing. Yeah. It's... Doesn't that look like Kotori in the corner? My little Shido. That's his name. Huh? No, we don't want to hurt the spirits. They're so nice. What do we do then? Persuade them. So we... In love. We gotta make the spirits fall in love with us. That's the whole point of this show. Date alive. So 
we gotta save this world by dating all these princess threats that show up. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's the plot, right? It's a harem show, right? I mean, now there's like a reason for him to have a harem. All right, let's do it. That intro scene with Kotori on our bed saying 13 year old and immediately panties everywhere. All right, that is inexcusable, but let's look beyond that, guys. Let's try to have an open mind, okay? I'm not condoning this shit, but the action sequence is pretty good. And the plot is, I mean, kind of unique in the sense that he has to date all these threats that show up. So every time a new threat waifu is gonna come down, Shido has to date them and convince them that to love this world and then everything was happy. That's what this show is? I mean, look, I, I mean, if we can go beyond the shameless fan service, maybe there's a special gem here and we'll watch the next episodes to find out. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video and check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.